All of the people that uh, take our courses, they always write evaluations. I don't remember ever getting an evaluation less than a five, so if the patients uh, are happy that we treat, which we do humanitarian, all the patient dentistry is free in our courses, which we're very happy to do. The dentists are happy, they feel like they learned a lot of information, and it's the information that counts. Uh, we're not necessarily going to spend a lot of time uh, talking to you about how to do an ASA 3 patient that's a, a diabetic that uh, insulin's not working for them, or somebody who's an asthmatic patient who goes to the ER once a month because their asthma medication's not working. I say, if you want to do that, either refer it out or have an anesthesiologist come in your office. We just con concentrate on healthy patients or patients like, a, like the diabetic or asthmatic patient that actually uh, is taking medication, but the medication's working really well. So basically, they, with the medication, they're now an ASA1 or a healthy patient. So those are the patients that we think that, that should be sedated. Keeps it safe that way and predict predictable. You don't have to worry about, about stressing out about uh, all these medical compromised patients that are taking five or six different drugs.